boom, yay, big slink, hey, boom. <laughs> well, well, well. Hero, the, the champion of the Scarlet Crusade, is here. But first, let's let's read about all these people that have been made into statues here. A bit low poly, but still. So here we have Admiral Barayan Westwind. Admiral Barayan Westwind, Grand Admiral of the Scarlet Fleet, citizen of Kulturas, lost of the frozen coast of Northrend. I don't know when that would have happened, because this, story-wise, we're in vanilla World of Warcraft when we're in this dungeon. So what he was he part of the expedition? To, but that was before the Scarlet Crusade was even, cre uh, like, founded. Harthal, Harthal True Sight. Lord Paladin of the Scarlet Crusade. Citizen of Azeroth. Knight of the Silver Hand. Last seen entering the cursed city of Stratholm. Yeah, he probably didn't end well for him then. Stratholm. We'll get to Stratholm later. Valea Twin Blades. Looks like an elf. Warrior of the Scarlet Crusade. Citizen of Aldrak. Last seen deep in the Eastern Plaguelands. This, okay, no, it is supposed to be a human. Just looks a bit weird. Yeah. Deep in the Eastern Plaguelands. That's a dangerous spot. Dorgar's... And that's actually a dwarf. Dorgar Stoenbrow, warrior of the Scarlet Crusade, lord of the Red Caverns, last seen in the mountains of Altrek. The Red Caverns? What is that? I've never heard of the Red Caverns before. In the mountains of Altrek, I wonder what happened to him. Filari Swiftarrow, that, that, that's an elf you can see on the ears. Why would they have an elf in the ranks? Falari Swift are ranger captain of the Scarlet Crusade, citizen of Kelphalas, lost in the forests of Silverpine. Okay. And here in the in the center, we have Orman of Stormgar Stromgard, the first captain general of the Scarlet Crusade, citizen of Stromgard, lost at the mouth of Ice Crown Glacier. Yeah, that's a dangerous place. And Jana Bloodspear. Uh, guessing human? The second chief assassin of the Scarlet Crusade, citizen of Dalaran, lost in the Tearsful Glades. So, mage assassin, sort of? And this is like a monk guy? Ferran Marcus, high abbot of the Scarlet Monastery, citizen of Stratholm, killed defending the Scarlet Monastery at the first Summertide Assault. I don't know what that would have been. I haven't heard of many of these things. I don't think I've ever read any of these plaques before when going to these dungeons, originally. Holia Sunshield. I haven't heard of any of these people either. Defender of the Scarlet Crusade. Killed while slaying the Dreadlord Belferis. I haven't heard of Belferis, I don't think so. But the Dreadlord, hmm. Arelas Fireleaf. High Wizard of the Scarlet Crusade. Citizen of Kalfalas. Locked in eternal combat with the Necromancer Dysalvan. Where? Where are they locked in eternal combat? Hmm, questions that need answer. Uh, what's up with his arm? That looks weird. It, the, and, oh, it's maybe they didn't like do the full statue because that's supposed to look like... I'm not sure, sure what that's supposed to look like. That looks weird. This is the last guy. In Invar... Oh! His name is Invar One Arm. <laughs> okay, so the arm is not that weird. It just looks odd anyway. The first chief assassin of the Scarlet Crusade. Citizen of Dalaran, last seen on the shores of Northrend. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Scarlet Monastery Dungeons. And now we finally face off against the last boss, or the only boss, here in the uh, Scarlet Monastery Armory section, Herod. No title or anything. Well, his undertitle is the Scarlet Champion, but his name, it's not like Scarlet Champion Hero, it's just Hero. So, hello. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. Yeah. Boom. Banshee's. Oh, it applied a, a dot to him. Slowly takes. Blades of light. Blades of light. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. 
It's weird how he's not wearing any chest armor, but it makes him seem more like a bers berserker type, like less armor so he can move faster. <sighs> I just want to get one more shot off. Hmm. Boom! Well, you've done your blades of light. How about an explosive shot? Boom! Scarlet trainee. Boo Ruftos Goldvandar, Danie Voslo Synagold. Oh, I remember now. The Scarlet Leggings. They they run out when you kill him, you get all of these guys running in. Dun 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 dun, dun like synchronized running down the stairs like that. Uh-oh. The Scarlet Trainees! Yeah, th this is kind of a cool event that they do it this way. Hello, does anyone else wanna join here? You too! Everyone gets to join the party. You too. And then we'll do a bam! Oh, they all die! Smooth leather shoulder pads. Oh, well, I really need to sell some stuff. By the way, the scarlet leggings, they are slightly better than the other new leggings we got. Yay! We'll actually wear the scarlet leggings, which is part, part of the Scarlet Crusade uh, set. Shane of the Scarlet Crusade. Oh, and they have weird set bonuses. Probably been downscaled over time, but still. Set 2, if you have 2 of the set, 5 extra armor. 3 increases dodge by 1. If you have 4, 2 plus shadow resistance. And 5 set, increase attack power by 3, but only when fighting undead. <laughs> and then 6 set, increases your hit by 5. Do... That's not even a stat anymore. Why is that even on this? Like, hit chance was removed ages ago. I know they removed these pants when th this dungeon was, like, removed and changed up, but still, that is... Oh, and there's a lever here, so you can... open and close the door, or... What is that lever for? Well, that's it. So, we don't know what those people said because we're playing on a Horde character. I just felt like, because we played Horde and we're in a Horde zone, technically, I felt like it would make more sense to play on a Horde character when doing these. Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna pause this uh, episode until we get out and I will also sell some stuff. And I'll see you in a second. Oh, alright, we're out here now and I've sold some stuff and we kill you. And now we only have the Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. The highest level dungeon of the old ones. The most difficult one. I think there's only one boss here as well. Oh well, technically there are three. One, but this and this one, you sort of fight them together. And this is just a little bonus boss that has since been removed. And he was really difficult to find before you... Uh, before they had maps for the in-game dungeons. Or, yeah, in-game dungeons for, for the dungeons, the maps in-game for the dungeons, because there used to not be maps. I mentioned this several times during my War Warcraft, World of Warcraft playthroughs of zones. Oh, I remember the thing I was gonna say earlier, in an earlier episode. So, so far, as of recording right now, only four episodes of, uh, of uh, World of Warcraft Tears Fog Laid is out. So far, not a big success at all. Uh, low views and uh, quite low view time on those episodes that has been watched as well. But hey, not everything can be a success on my channel and I'm not aiming for that. It's just I do the things I want to do. If people want to watch, they watch. But it's always more fun if people do watch. Uh, but yeah, so far this is not a big success. I, I guess when, I'm, when you mix content like that, when I come from like... The Mario and Luigi Bowser's inside story and then the Four Swords and you go into World of Warcraft. Like, people generally don't, for most part, don't combine those interests that much. And a cloak. Hmm. Yeah, this place is, in the upgraded version that we'll come to later, this place is less gray. And it feels a bit more alive. And it also, I think it's a tiny bit bigger, perhaps? Or at least, like, the graphics have been updated. But it looks sort of similar. So here is the actual cathedral that we're going into. We've been seeing these spires throughout the outside areas. 
of the other sections. There we have the chapel door. And here, Scarlet Commander Mograine. Hmm. So Mograine is a very... Yeah, you can't open the door from the inside. Instead, you have a lever for it. It's weird. So... Mograine is a very... Yeah, so this is why this dungeon was really difficult back in the day. There are so many uh, enemies here, and you would never take on this many at the same time. You want you would want to fight as few as possible at a time. Oh, uh, boots. And boots. Interlaced boots. And back to the thorn bracelets. Um... But yeah, Mograine, as I say, 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 as I was saying, it's a very recognizable name. You might, if you're playing World of Warcraft, you might remember, like, Mograine, isn't that uh, for, like, the Death Knights? Uh, and yes, but it's not this Mograine. There are three Mograines. There is, I think his name is Alexandros Mograine, and you, you do meet him currently in the Shadowlands a little bit. He is the father of the Death Knight Mograin guy and this Mograin guy, because this guy is the brother of the Death Knight guy, and he basically... This guy was tricked into, or something, into betraying their father, so he killed the dad. And now he's like a commander of the Scarlet Crusade, but we'll go for that bonus boss first that not everyone knew about. Who is in here. Scarlet Monk. And you have this secret wall here that is in the way. But you just click on the torch. Click, click. And the reason that he's hidden away is because he's forsaken. High Inquisitor Fairbanks. They have a forsaken in their ranks. Oh, he's not even attacking me. Okay, boom. Oh, and he, he doesn't have any voice lines either. He's just... I think he was meant for a quest. And he... Well, he, he does count as a boss. Dusty mail boots. Are they better than mine? No. Um, this place, however, has not been changed as far as I can remember. Because it, it, it is a cool cathedral. I used this uh, place actually to, for one of my really old videos. When I did like my acapella video on uh, the Temple of Time. Because I, when I was thinking, like, hmm, something in World of Warcraft that reminds you of the Temple of Time from Ocarina of Time. Other than, like, this one has a very red tint and coloration, it's like, yeah, it's it's sort of Temple of Time, like, cathedral-like. So I chose this place, and I have... Uh, it's from here. But I, I do think it's from the newer version, then, because that was during Pandaria or later. And... What do we have in this this last level? More more people. Steady shot. Yeah, not not much of interest. Yeah, so Mograine, this Mograine, not a good guy. Not a good guy at all. Deep deep deep. How's my Thunder Bluff I, I have been getting. I'm at Revered. I wonder when, because now that uh, your characters in your warband on your account share reputation for the newer uh, things. So for the new expansion, you will all share the same reputation. And they implemented it for the Dragonflight, which is current. Uh, some people have started playing the new expansion, those who bought the... Uh, the most expensive uh, version of uh, The War Within. I didn't. I purchased the middle one to get some of the collectibles, but I didn't care about getting early access to the game. There's, I saw this morning, even though it came out like yesterday, I saw people at max level already. I don't understand why you would want to level that fast. I don't see the fun in doing that. Like, they, they do not experience it at all. They just, like, quest, 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 or dungeon, 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 dungeon. I don't know exactly how it is, but... I guess there's some prestige in getting max level first or something, but you don't get to experience the game, really. Uh, yeah, but I, I wonder how long it will take them and which order, like, will they go backwards through the expansions? Like, okay, so now these ones uh, are shared and now these ones are shared. 
Uh, how's it gonna work with like Horde and Alliance? Because Horde and Alliance have different ones, even though we're in the same warband. And how is it gonna work with those that oppose each other? Uh, like Burning Crusade here, the uh, Aldor and the Scry... I don't even have the Scryers here, I haven't spoken to a Scryer on this character. But yeah, the Aldor and the Scryers who were opposed to each other, uh, or in uh, Wrath of the Lich King you have the... Uh, in Sholazar Basin, the Frenzy Heart tribe and the Oracles, who are also opposing each other. So if you're friends with one thing, you, you're automatically hated by the other. How is that gonna work? They haven't figured it, they, they said themselves when people asked about this feature, that Blizzard said like, yeah, we will get there when we get there, we haven't figured it out yet. But here we go, Scarlet Commander Mograine, the, the traitor who killed his own father. Because they thought his, yeah, it's a long story. They must be purified. My pet must not be purified. Oh. Oh, yeah, and also every living character that's still in here gets aggroed when you go for the boss. So that's why you want to kill everyone in here. You wanted to kill all the other ones before you went for the actual boss. Let me have some loot. Oh, an interlaced belt. Thank you very much. I do like his saw on mace that he has. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that almost got him. Well, yeah, he does have less health, but there's a reason for him having less health. Well, how about we go over here and end your life? You shall pay for this treachery! High Inquisitor Whitemane. Sally Whitemane. Oh, she's quite large for a human. Because she's a boss, I guess. So she's a priest. A popular uh, cosplay character, I must say. You see, you see many cosplays of her before. Uh, I think she's the daughter of someone important, and she became like a very powerful priest. Oh no, 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 no to that! No dominate. Th but there, she puts you to sleep with a super deep sleep attack. Scarlet Arise, resurrection. A super fast resurrect combat rest. The most powerful one in the game. And then she raises him to life. That's why there are two different bosses. That's her, that's him. But they fight together. At your side, my lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna shoot... I'm gonna shoot you! Just give me a chance. Boom. Oh, you don't seem to be doing anything else, so... And... And High Inquisitor Whitemane has been defeated. Acrobatic Staff of the Fire Flash. Ages of the Scarlet Commander. Whitemane's Chapeau. Chapeau. That's her hat. Yeah. Uh, but we got that interlaced belt. Yeah. And the staff. Whoop. And that's it for the old Scarlet Crusade dungeons. That took us three episodes. I thought we would be able to do it in two. But it, it ended up being three. My camera is running low on battery, but I oh, I have more to record. I have more to record. We're not done. Uh, so a question before we end here. We'll, I'll go out in between episodes and we'll be outside next time. A question for this episode will be... Like, uh, churches or cathedrals? I don't really know the difference. Is, is it only a size difference? Whatever. Um, what's the biggest one you've ever been to? For me... It's actually the one in the Vatican. I've been there with my dad. Uh, when was that? Like the summer of... 2010, maybe? We were there? I think it may have been 2010. Um, and it's so huge. It's gigantic on the inside. And like the audio, like it, it's echoing in a weird way. It was very cool, though. I can very much recommend. In, if you're in Rome, go and see that uh, that huge cathedral. It's really cool. But let me know about your answers in the comments down below. <laughs> I haven't gotten answers to any questions lately at all, but, but still, I'm doing it. And maybe in the future people will answer. I don't know. But hey, yep, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching me play through the old Scarlet Monastery Dungeons. No, we only have the new ones left. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Boom! Yeah, boom, 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 boom